Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S4, Root.com for this week's Sprint ROM of the Week. Um, since the M10.2 is not available uh, for the Sprint version, I've got a nice ROM for you. This is called the Nega Lite uh, ROM. It is awesome. Um, you have a ton of features uh, with this ROM. Um, let me go ahead and show you a couple. Now, oh, it does come with an Aroma graphical installer, so you can choose different kernel stock, MF9 kernel, Agate kernel, K uh, Tweaker kernel. I've installed Agate kernel. Um, if you want overclocking, I would go with uh, K Tweaker kernel. And there's a bunch of tweaks. And uh, let me just go ahead and show you real quick here. Um, you can actually fix the widget uh, if you just re put it there. Um, you'll see nicely in blue here. And also my Wi Fi tether. The only problem I had with Wi Fi tether, it comes with Wi Fi tether app. I removed it and installed the latest uh, Wi-Fi Tether APK file. Um, I'll have the links to this one I use and have been actually uh, pulling nice 4G LTE signals here at my parents' house and I've uh, been tethering off it. I've been using gigabytes, uploading even this video and downloading a bunch of ROMs. Um, it's working well. Um, also for a launcher, you get Nova, I think Apex and TouchWiz. With TouchWiz launcher, you'll get uh, five by six uh, 4x5 options. Um, I've got the 5x6, also 5x6 uh, app drawer. But what you probably notice as soon as, soon as you see this ROM uh, is the nice, you know, the nice font and also the way it's uh, laid out is really nice. And I just fell in love with this ROM. And I wish I could use this ROM on all my Galaxy S4s, but Sprint Galaxy S4 is not my daily driver. Um, so that kind of sucks. Uh, it does come with Flash Player, um, of course, some extra apps you can play with. Um, you do have a choice of when I'm uh, exposed or no touch exposed. I chose the no touch exposed. This basically gives you ability to uh, your, change your UI, um, your status bar, um, NFC icon, uh, notification panel, all kinds of stuff you can do with this. Um, I will let you mess with it, and I'm just going to show you real quick, um, you know, NFC behavior. Um, you can even have it uh, working while your screen's off. That's really nice. Um, long home key behavior, launcher lock screen, um, high carrier label, um, change your custom carrier label to high on Android, um, hidden torch settings. Um, you'll be able to enable your torch when your screen's off by holding uh, down, holding up the uh, home button and also even set timeout. Um, so actually let's go try one of these and I'm going to go ahead and hold it down. Boom, shakalaka. Um, so very nice ROM with a ton of features and I really, really dig the theme. Um, so definitely if you're looking for a nice theme with a nice uh, font and also there's even animations as you can see. Uh, it's like card effect, card shuffle effect. I really love it. It is awesome. Do you see that? Um, I'm just a real sucker for these animations. Um, you know, that's one of the major ways you can differentiate uh, custom ROM from something else. Um, also, it does come with exposed installer. Um, let me see the mod, let me show you the modules it comes with. Um, so, that is for Notatch Expose. Um, and it actually comes installed. You don't have to actually do anything. That's another plus for those of you noobs. Uh, 4G LTE working just fine. You'll get 4G instead of the 4G LTE icon. Uh, but let me prove you to that I'm actually getting 4G LTE. Um, that's just a preference on how the ROM developers put it. Um, actually, I like the 4G, so LTE 14 right there. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. There's even more features I didn't mention, uh, but a very nice ROM, very nice launcher, very, very nice theme. Also, you do have the uh, customizations through NoTouch Expose. A pretty fast ROM, Wi-Fi tether working out of the box. This should be a perfect ROM for you for, you know, if you're just looking for one ROM to install for the next couple months, this is going to be great. And also you're on the latest MF9, um, so you'll be able to uh, move your favorite apps uh, to the SD card. Um, so let me go ahead and show you that real quick and we'll be done here. So let's say I want to move my Adobe Flash Player, uh, move to SD card. Well, some apps you can't, like Facebook, I think you can. Most of the third-party apps you uh, download, oh, you know what? I don't have my SD card uh, inserted, but you do see the option there, which means you can do it. Anyway, check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. Sprint Galaxy S4 only, a Negalite. I love it. This is probably one of the best ROMs I've tried so far, uh, along with Triforce ROM. 
in this ROM. Love it. So definitely check it out and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S4, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS4root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android.